Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome back to this and that planning. These are my back to school nails, pencil tips, and erasers. We will be planning out the week of August 8th through the 14th, and I will be using SPC's Hello Class. I was initially anticipating using this kit for last year's back to school, but it worked out rather nicely because I used the school days from Caress Press for when I returned and Hello Class for when my students returned. So I'm really excited to get to this spread. Um, actually the foil pairing worked out better than I anticipated. Um, I used a uh, mixed metal gold and silver with SPC's Lux kit. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Um, so I heard a lot of people talking about how they didn't like the Lux, and I didn't not like it, but I was always having a difficult time trying to find a kit to pair it with, and I initially purchased the gold and silver mixed metal, and that's something else I was looking forward to experimenting with. It was my very first mixed metal foil bundle, and I just wasn't sure because when I was doing other spreads, I'm like, no, this really says this to me or that to me. It didn't say both. So this is the first kit that I'm like, okay, I could do both here, and I used the Lux, and I think it actually turned out very fabulously. I appreciate this spread. Um... As I stated, this is the week that our students came back. Um, they started on Monday, so they started with a full week of school. Um, I have to admit, <laughs> it's, um, in years past, other school districts, even this school district, um, starting out like after Labor Day, I think it's Labor Day. I always get Labor Day Memorial Day mixed up. But after the holiday, starting back after the holiday is usually um, nice because, you know, there's no school on Monday. Kids come back on Tuesday. Usually they get their schedules. They're getting settled in. You don't have them really for a full day. And then you have a full day starting on Wednesday. So it's like it eases you back in. Um, this year, we actually did not even hand out schedules. They got emails home telling them to check their schedules online and we had a regular full, full first day. So it was, um, that was new for me. Even in the district, I've been with the district that I'm at for, I think this is like my eighth year now, eighth or ninth year. And um, yeah, that was brand new for our school to start out with just a regular school day. So it was very interesting to say the least. Um, I was really happy to get back into the groove with students. Um, even though I say it was a regular full day, my school has been taking advantage of um, starting out and they always want to let kids know about like new policies or even old policies, teach them how to log into their laptops or Chromebooks and teach them how to check their grades and find their classes. Um, so they have a lot of videos and a lot of activities. Um, they did, especially on the first day, change it up for us. We were able to, um, it was by period. So first period, we watched this video and discussed this. And the next period, which we have block scheduling, so it was third period. So during third period, it'd be a different video and a different activity. Um, I appreciate that because on Wednesday and Thursday of this week, they had all math teachers, which is myself, um, do like one topic. So we only got to do that one topic all day and I teach seven classes. So I got to do that topic seven times and that gets a bit harsh <laughs> when it's like laying down policies and procedures. I appreciated the first day when we got to mix it up and it was something different every hour. And then I also feel like doing that way, I was able to see it with them. So I had a better understanding. Sometimes they're not always the best at informing us of the changes. And sometimes the kids know more than we do. And it's because, oh, well, you know, English covered it. <laughs> Math didn't cover it. So I wasn't up on that change. Um, but they did change our grading policy again. Um, they changed it last year. We did change it again this year. So that's actually what I discussed on Wednesday and Thursday with them was the changes in their grading policy. 
uh, because that's what Matt discussed. But, okay, going back to Monday and the first day with kids, that was a crazy, crazy day. I've never had a first day like it. So, yes, it was different because we started out on a regular day, didn't even wait for the kids to get their schedules, just jumped right in, uh, up and running. So that was new. Um, But the fire alarm went off (laughs) and the fire alarm went off because um, freshmen brand new to our building, not familiar with how sensitive our fire alarms are and they were vaping in the bathroom. So it set the fire alarm off. Um, So they have new protocols inside the building. When the fire alarms go off, the students do not evacuate immediately anymore. Um, If you're unaware, if you don't have children or maybe your children are grown and haven't had them or maybe a different district does it differently, Um, but they have found that a lot of times, sadly, with school shootings, um, students and other people will pull fire alarms to be able to have more mass casualties to have everybody come out of the room. So now when a fire alarm goes off, uh, inside the building, they stay inside their classrooms. Um, why do I say this? <laughs> because I am not inside the building. I am out in a portable and portables are highly flammable. And most likely if you have somebody who is trying to shoot up campus, they're not trying to do it out in the portables. So, um, when fire alarms go off, we have to evacuate. So on day one with first day back to school procedures, fire alarm gets set off. So we have to get all the kids outside (laughs) and it's crazy. And they forgot that portables evacuate immediately. So they didn't really tell us to go back in right away because they were trying to figure out, you know, like who did it kind of a thing. Um, and then at the very end of the day, so we had actually released our students, but barely like final bell ring. Okay, great. Have a great day. Bye guys. And then we were in a hard lockdown of all the things. And even I had kids that came back to my room for the hard lockdown and they're like, miss, it's the first day. And I'm like, I feel it. Like we had the fire alarm, now a hard lockdown. It's crazy. So if you guys are not familiar with the hard lockdown, (laughs) Hard lockdown, again, is one of those safety procedures that have been put in place for years um, due to, again, school shootings. So we lock all the doors. We don't let any of our students out of the room. We don't allow anybody in. Anybody that needs to come in will have a key because sometimes you'll have administration or campus security monitors that have a random kid that need to be placed in a room, they will unlock the door. They do not knock, they unlock the door and place the student in your room. So um, in a hard lockdown situation, we just we don't open up the doors. Uh, we are supposed to turn off our classroom lights and the students have to lay on the floor, um, not visible by any windows, get away from the doors, that kind of thing. Um, So apparently, I think I misunderstand or whoever calls hard lockdowns misunderstands. One or the other, there is a misunderstanding in my understanding. Um, I assume that hard lockdowns were because there's a threat on campus. So whether they assume that there is a gun on campus or a knife and a weapon, they assume that there's a weapon on campus or there's a threat on campus. And it was my understanding that if it was off campus, it would be a soft lockdown situation, which we're still, the students are in the room. We don't allow anybody to come or go, but the lights can be on. The students are moving around freely and we're still free to teach instruction as normal. So that's my understanding, but the hard lockdown was called and nothing on campus. Uh, I guess uh, the police called the hard lockdown for our school because there was something going on in the neighborhood, which again, per my understanding, that's a soft lockdown situation. But now um, we had a teacher assaulted in our school district last year. And sadly, the shooting in Texas last year is just so much that they are becoming more and more strict because student safety is number one. And I absolutely agree with that. That has to be number one. So I feel like um, they've put more safety and security measures in place um, on our campus. And I feel like now they just jump right to hard lockdown no matter what. So, but yeah, first day of school, very first day, we have students back and we have a fire alarm and a hard lockdown on the same day. It was crazy. It was just crazy. 
Um, anyway, so continuing on with the week, uh, Tuesday's date night, uh, also had robotics cause they're trying to recruit. We normally don't meet on Tuesdays or Thursdays. They usually meet on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but they needed to do recruiting since we were back to school. So they had a meeting on Tuesday so that way they could plan out recruiting, um, after graduation and um, students changing their mind about the club, we were down to seven. And usually for the type of robotics that we do, um, usually you want to see 20 to 50 kids on the team comfortably. So having 20, we needed so many more students. So they were meeting to try to uh, recruit. Um, on Wednesday, I had a robotics officers meeting and got tacos because I love tacos. They're always the best. Um, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday was, oh, that was a day. <clears throat> Not like Monday. Oh my goodness. Monday was really a day. But, um, so it looks like Thursday we started what we call, well, uh, don't worry about what we call it, but basically it's a weight loss challenge at my school. <coughs> Uh, why I'm not sharing because uh, if you're familiar with our schools in our area, as soon as I said the name of the challenge, you would know what school I worked at and I'm not trying to um, have that out there. So anyway, um, but anyway, so we did a weight loss challenge and it was our initial weigh in. Um, we're actually currently today, which is September 24th, we currently um, are in halfway through our second uh, challenge. So they do it every month. So it was our initial weigh in first week back to school. So we all weighed in if we wanted to participate in the challenge, um, clubs and organizations fair. So again, having robotics and that's why they met on Tuesday and Wednesday preparing for the clubs and organizations fair. All the ninth graders and 10th graders get to walk through during class time and 11th and 12th graders, it's open to them during lunch. So that's a big recruiting opportunity for us. Um, again, it was a little crazy. Uh, they had athletics and clubs and organizations all in the gym together. And I was an athlete when I'm in school, so absolutely no hate. But um, now doing robotics, my kids put a lot of money into their robot and their robot is quite expensive. Like uh, their robot's four and a half foot tall and it's about a hundred or so pounds and it's just, it's expensive. You know, the, the stuff on the robot itself can be quite pricey. So, um, they originally had us next to basketball and basketball was shooting hoops like baskets right by our robot like within a foot of our robot and i did not see that one of the other um people that helped me out with robotics <clears throat> they saw it and they actually reported it to the people in charge they're like hey you know they're shooting baskets right next to you know our ten thousand dollar robot could we maybe not do that or have them moved so they did move them and in their place, they put flag football. And again, I'm not hating on sports. I wish I had flag football in high school. I would have loved that because maybe I'd actually understand football rules because today that's uh, still the one that I'm just like, I have no clue. Like some people have explained it to me and it's gotten better, but I really have no idea. So I would have loved to play flag but they didn't have that opportunity. But anyway, so the girls were throwing around the football, knocked it into our robot and disconnected our robot, like all the wiring, everything just crap, you know, and they even moved the basketball, uh, over to the other side of the gym. And when I went there and walked through, um, when I was walking through, there was a poor girl, they have a Tetris club and she was trying to like, you know, be smiling and approachable to talk to people. And the guys were like, shooting baskets and it had her so nervous like she just kept repeatedly flinching the poor thing and it's just I don't know I think that they need to separate out athletics and clubs because like I said we have the expensive robot there's like science oh they have a lot of expensive stuff that they have on display you know a lot of people put time in like their boards and then you have athletics like they're showing their high energy and enjoying their sports and it just, it was a bit of a mess, but, um, overall I think it went well, but I hope they ask our recommendations or at least I hope I remember to give a recommendation next year to possibly separate that out. So that way we don't have those issues, but they did a great job. Um, and then we also had, uh, my guy's pre-operation appointments on Thursday because he had to meet with, uh, 
surgeon's assistant to make sure that the, everybody was on the same page before his operation, which will be the following week on Tuesday, um, which more about that then. <laughs> uh, and then on Friday, we had back to school assembly. Um, after the CNO fair, we had a robotics meeting for still talking about other recruitment efforts to get more people and plan out their first new member meeting. Um, my guy and I, we got Chinese on the way home, which meant I got a Thai tea. I love Thai tea. And then of course I get boba in it. So I absolutely love that. Um, then on Saturday I did a voiceover and upload of a video that's no longer available. I'm so sad. I'm still crying. Maybe I'll do a flip through at the end of the year. Maybe we'll see. Um, but anyways, a beautiful spread. It was cherries by Planner Choco. Um, <laughs> and I didn't understand like what was going on with that video. It had high views, but no likes. And then my mom, uh, went to watch it and she's like, I think something's wrong. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, I, I'm only getting the voice. I'm not getting the video. And I went and checked. And for some reason, like my beginning video is there with sound. And then after that, for some reason, my video never uploaded. And at that point, um, yeah, sadly I had already deleted the footage. So yeah, break my heart tear, but live and learn. <laughs> so now I always check every video for audio and video after I upload. <laughs> But that was, that was a beautiful spread. I did enjoy the cherry spread. I like cherries. I'm not a red person, but I love cherries. Oh my goodness. I think I mentioned in the video when I was younger, one year for Christmas, um, my mom got me two big jars of mar maraschino. Is that how you say it? Mar maraschino? Maraschino? Anyway, she got me two big jars of cherries for Christmas and in less than a week they were gone. <laughs> I love cherries. And even just recently, my guy and I, we got a dessert and it had one cherry on the dessert, but we were splitting the dessert. And I'm like, are we fighting over the cherry? And he's like, no, you can have it. So like, I love cherries. Um, that day I also got very, very motivated and I filmed four different spreads that day. Um, I found a whole bunch of my old phones and factory reset them so I could dispose of them. Um, I'm still missing a phone. It's funny because I was actually looking for an old picture is why I was going through my old phones. I didn't even realize that I had that many or it's five, five old phones and I'm still missing one that I know is around, but I did find the picture I was looking for off of a, um, a hard drive backup that I had to do on a computer. So I did uh, get the picture I was looking for. I still can't find the phone though. Um, so yeah, that was my Saturday. And then Sunday, it was a lot of like, yeah, <laughs> laundry, moving furniture. My guy was outside cutting trees, cutting up vegetables for the week, talking to mom, you know, end of week stuff. So it was a very wonderful and exciting week. Um, so yeah, now continue talking about this spread, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did enjoy how the Lux and the Mixed Metal worked with this. I enjoyed it. Sadly, um, Alicia Craft came out with her back to school foil after I laid this down. I was so sad. And then I just noticed that Andrea from SPC just uploaded, um, this same spread with back to school foil. And I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I need to get faster about uploading, but, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I enjoy this pace that I'm going at. Um, and there are some other videos that I want to upload for a different channel, but we'll get to that a different time because my schedule right now is all that I can handle and then some, so, <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I was really sad that I had laid down both of my back to school spreads prior to Alicia Crafts coming out with her back to school foil. It would have been really nice to have, but especially with the way that this, uh, mixed metal and Lux kit worked with this kit, I'm actually kind of happy, you know, and now that I've seen Andrea's video. Um, I, hers did turn out very well. I like her art as well, but for me, <laughs> I, I really am actually quite pleased that things happen the way that they did. Um, so up on the class of, she had different stickers that you could do different years. Um, I put 2023 because this is the 22, 23 school year. And, um, 
I have a lot of juniors and seniors this year, so my focus is on the seniors to get them graduated. And like I said, it's the 22-23 school year, even with robotics, um, they learned their game in January. So it's their 20-23 season. So that's why I decided to go with 2023. Um, the Fashion Girl I did add on uh, the fashion girl and kids. I don't have any children and I teach high school. So uh, even though the kids were absolutely adorable, it just didn't seem fitting. But I love this fashion girl. I don't wear glasses, um, but I do have uh, darker hair and I do have tattoos. So I absolutely kind of really like the edginess of the tattoo. So I really, really enjoyed this um, artwork because I feel like a lot of the kids are more geared towards like elementary school and I've even heard other people talk about well I kind of do college and you know I do adult ed or whatever and um it doesn't suit them I feel like this hello class kit um even though it did have some like elementary school uh things like little items here and there but at the end of the day I feel like it was very universal um for just about every level of education you know, especially you have like that pink and black. Um, I don't know. What do you call that? Like, is that a marble? Like a pink and black? Yeah, we'll go with marble. <laughs> yeah, it looks like marble, like a marble countertop, you know, and it's not, even, sorry, it's not even pink and black. Uh, guys, <laughs> I don't know where my brain is, but it's a uh, pink and gray. The pink and gray marble kind of gives it like a feel. You got like the craft card that could be so many different levels. Um, I feel like, you know, with the double box scene, it's, um, it's got kind of like alternative seating, you know, pillows for like story time and you have like a lot of little bins and stuff that is a little bit more elementary, but it could also be, you know, anywhere. I feel like even in high school, we do that. So it looks like I am finishing up my spread with my wacky holidays and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great week. Bye.